Chef T.Y. is in the building. What's on the menu? Today we got another reaction video for you. Um, we're going to do different types of reaction videos on this channel. So some, you might see some similar to other ones. And then you'll see ones that are just totally different. But that's just how we're going to go. That's how we're going to rock. If you rock with it, go ahead and drop that like. You can comment and subscribe. If you don't do neither one of the three, then that's cool too. Because if you rock with it, then we're going to rock with it. And so since we're talking about rocking, it's time to get rocking with this video. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Them instincts, though. That's called parental instincts. Because, ooh. The country is full of incredible sights and beasts. And then many of those are best if you stay away from them. That said, humans inevitably come into contact with these dangerous creatures. Whether it's when you're out paddleboarding on the sea, or just sitting and enjoying the scenery. I hope you weren't that close to the bear, though. can leave you pretty shaken. We've got a list of the scariest animal encounters to show you. Whether you're scared of alligators, bears, or the ones that live under the sea. Why would you not be scared of none of those things? Number 11. Alligators stuck on a juggle. What may look like an ordinary fishing trip can suddenly turn very dangerous. Here's a man fishing away with his juggle in the water. Hoping to look some nice prey to bring him home. Have a nice meal perhaps. But unknown to him, he's hooked on something that sees him as a male. As he looks down, he realizes that his drug line is hooked onto the teeth of a giant alligator. In sudden panic, he throws away the jug line and starts to paddle away from danger. <laughs> Bro is running for his life in that boat. Bro, do you see his face? Bro, if that was a black person, that's exactly what we would be looking like. Except we'd be screaming and shit. Because black people are scary as hell unless they're dealing with people. In sudden panic, he throws away the job. And he looked like, uh, what's his name? When, uh, Ice Cube and Chris Tucker are fighting. <laughs> Chase the dude on the bike. <laughs> cool play. Cool play. <laughs> oh, yeah, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we gotta reenact that scene real quick. He throws away the job. Play. Play. Cool play. Cool play. Luckily for him, the alligator either wasn't hungry or not interested, and was satisfied with just letting go. That was a close call, for sure. Yeah, and he was satisfied with just leaving. Sometimes you may not even be intending to get close to any animal, yet find yourself in a close call. In this video, some bikers are driving on a fairly normal road that is surrounded by a lush green forest. Going their way, one of them realizes that it's so they're driving in the forest pretty much. What kind of bikes are they on? They just riding bikes in the forest? Not black. Fast approaching from the jungle, running right toward him. Thanks to some quick thinking, the biker speeds up, and the tiger misses his target and runs back into the jungle on the other side. A slight lapse of judgment here could have been the difference between life and death. Yikes. Before we move on. It seemed like none of these animals interested, because you telling me that this tiger could not run no bike? Beats up, and the tiger misses his target and runs back into the jungle on the other side. A slight lapse of judgment. The tiger ain't missed nothing. The tiger just kept running. At least he did though, because that bike would have been out of there. Good for you. What's with these Not dudes on bicycles? Are just interested in shooting away people. Some are rather bloodthirsty, such as here, where a cyclist is going on an off-road path through a jungle when he realizes his bear is on chase. The man quickly starts pedaling faster and is able to stay ahead of the bear for quite some time. However, trouble comes up ahead as he notices the path is blocked by a fallen tree. Out of them, piss. Audubon, I guess, oh, <laughs> this, 
Somebody did this for a reason, because it's over. It's, the stick is blocking right in the middle of the trail. However, this man, without pausing for a moment, just jumps off his bicycle and starts running into the jungle to die. Since he is ahead of the bear, the out of sight. Intelligent instincts prompt action to save this man, as the bear is unable to find him as he hides behind a tree. Now that's smart. Nobody probably thought of that. I ain't gonna say nobody, but... There's definitely some good instincts right there. Yep, that was a lifesaver. That tweet probably saved his life. The bear was his way after hearing what seems like gunshots from afar. This could have been a very sad story if it yeah. hadn't been so prompt to act. Yep. Number eight, great white shark encounter. Underwater scenery might be quite a sight to behold. To me, underwater incidents are always avoidable if you don't take your... <laughs> Underwater, <laughs> you'll go underwater. Ain't nothing underwater can get you. So I'll be trying to figure out why people just be going underwater like they ain't finna encounter nothing. But there are also some very predatory fish lurking underneath the diver is about to discover. Exactly. Going underwater with very little visibility, this man realizes with utter shock that a white shark has just passed by very near, which makes him panic and let out a scream. If that was enough, the shark then turns around and starts approaching. Mm -hmm. and one can only imagine the pace at which this four minutes heart must be beating. Well, luckily, the, the shark doesn't mad and turns away. He then swims to the surface and warns his fellows to watch out for the shark. And he also makes it to the boat. Besides this last dude, all these other people just been extremely lucky. Besides the last dude who actually did something to get out the path of the animal, everybody else is just hella lucky. Because the tiger ain't trying to get nobody. This damn shark, he ain't even try to get nobody. He just looked at him and then just kept swimming. I'm like, these are the coolest animals ever. They probably, <laughs> they just chilling. They're like, huh, I'm going to get you. No, I'm not. Well, safely. Number seven. French Navy soldier encounters a shark. As per French Navy tradition, this soldier jumped into the water from the ship to take a bit of marking his last day on the assignment. But this celebratory move came very close to becoming a tragic one, as a shark swam by to notice what's going on, brushing right past his foot. Thankfully, the shark didn't see this as an opportunity to distract, and danger was averted. But that soldier must have sure gotten the chills at what just passed him by. Number six. Once again, lucky. When a pond is covered in green and you can't see through, you should never make presumptions as to what's in it. Mm -hmm. That's exactly why black people don't go in water because we don't know what's in. And of course, this dude is white. Ain't no black people gonna be on none of these videos. I can promise you that. Tied it safe to go in. That's it. Holding a piece of meat to invite some kind of animal to meet. But he quickly realizes how wrong his idea was, as his massive crocodile has charged his ass. Number five. What did he think was gonna pop out the water? Because regular fish don't just pop out of water. They don't just swim to the shore, hop out like Patrick. So what he think was just gone, and he just sitting there dangling too. Like what? Is... Tripping, bro. Thankfully, his quick instinct makes him jump back and he's safe. No, he that's there ain't no quick instinct. That's called being retarded because he either he was trying to lure that crocodile out there, or he was expecting something else to come out, which I don't yeah, even know what else you could expect. Thankfully, his quick instinct makes him jump back and he's safe. But he sure learned his lesson, as it's unlikely to go anywhere. He didn't learn his lesson. He probably went to another swamp and did the same thing. He did that deliberately, purposefully. Nowhere near that pond again. Number five. Seal slaps an octopus onto a kayak. Sometimes, scary encounters can involve more than one animal. And you may not even be the target. That's just what happened on this thrilling kayak trip in New Zealand. This man was out kayaking in the sea when suddenly it comes into the immediate vicinity of a struggle between a seal and an octopus. The seal is trying to get the octopus off it, and it ends up slapping the octopus onto the kayak. Ooh, he just got <laughs> he just got smacked by all of Squidward's tentacles. <laughs> Oh, man. Mother just got whacked. And it ends up 
splashing splash past the front of the kayak, whose legs lay across, across the kayak before slowly sliding away. With one leg still stuck, but the man pushes away with his power. Now that is something you don't get to see every day. Number four. I would have been appalled. <laughs> you ain't Paul. You would have that still. I would have been appalled to the highest degree. Sits next to a scared guy. Not all scary encounters are fast-paced or involve jump scares. Sometimes they can be silent and calm and deeply terrifying, as this man just experienced. Sitting in his chair with his camera mounted on a stand, but recording wildlife on the river in a green mountainous landscape, he notices a bear calmly approaching and then stopping right next to him. White, because black people see any type of animal calmly approaching us. We are calmly approaching the other direction, bro, because I don't know how you just let a bear walk up on you. And then, for centuries, smart investors have used farmland to build wealth. Unfortunately, owning farmland has required large amounts of capital, knowledge of agriculture, really? and the ability to manage farm. I have to look into that later. Decides just to sit next to the man. Perhaps also join. Joy- and he's just standing here recording this bear, just sitting next to him like he just his dog or something. In the scenery. Afterward, the man gets some real chills as evident in his utterances. And the bear gets up to walk away, and for a moment seems to be approaching him. However, the bear doesn't touch it and goes off on his way. I'm glad all these people are alright, nobody got hurt. But at the same time, what's up with these animals though? I think animals are just about polar. I guess you just got to catch them on the right day, right time or something, because only person on this video something happened to was the dude that got smacked by an octopus by a smad ass squigger. The man just decided to relief like never before in his life. Number three. On the street, he had a grizzly bear. 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 Sitting next to a grizzly bear. Almost certainly come rare. Catching those opportunities can be quite a risk, too. That's what happened with this snowmobile rider. Why he used the grizzly bear to capture some nice footage. But probably unknown to him, that the bear was getting annoyed and then possibly feeling regret. And that's when he decided to act. Suddenly turning around and raising its hefty paw to attack the snowmobile rider. Whoever so narrowly misses the paw and drives on. Why is he right behind him? This is what I don't understand about white people. Something starts attacking y'all. Y'all want to scream mercy, scream, I need help, I need everything. But yeah, you pulling up with a camera behind the goddamn bear, like, it wasn't going to be no type of reaction to it. That experience must have taught the man a thing or two on keeping a safe distance from one of the most vicious predators known to man. Even the dude that's hosting the video is white and he know. Like, come on, bro. Number two. Mom saves baby from battering ram. Kids are surely fascinated by animals. Absolutely. And it's probably a good idea to let them hang around animals. As long as the animals are harmless. Which is exactly what this mom was doing for her baby. However, unknown to her, out of nowhere, there was a ram running towards them at a very fast pace, aiming right at the toddler. Neither the mom nor the toddler chasing the rooster. Where they at? Because they got this big ass chicken. And where the hell you find a ram? How the hell you get close to a ram? I just like like a regular park or something. They got to be in the country somewhere or something. Because little boy is chasing a chicken bigger than him. And this unknown ass animal just come out of nowhere. I was aware until the very last moment. When the mother's protective instinct kicked in. And she miraculously pulled the child away. What I said at the beginning, the parent instincts? Yes. The split second difference in reaction. Kudos to the mom. But thankfully... Here, everyone remained unharmed. Plus one for mama. Number one. Killer whale approaching paddle boat. 
This man here was just enjoying a paddleboard in the sea on a bright, beautiful day when things suddenly get very tense. An orca, also known as a killer whale, is also swimming right underneath. To make matters worse, the orca is coming even closer and manages to bite the paddleboard. But perhaps noticing that it's not edible, or perhaps just wasn't interested in hunting, it decided to just swim away in the situation of man. God was on everybody's side in this video. Because once again, dude right there on a, not even a silver, dude was on a gold platter to be lunch. And the whale just like, nah, I'm good. And manages to bite the paddle. But perhaps noticing that it's not edible, or perhaps just wasn't interested in hunting. It decided to just swim away. He wasn't interested in nothing. It sure was a close one. Like I said, Brad, nobody got hurt. None of that. But these animals on here, they must have been off some edibles or something on all these days. Because most of them was just cooling. <laughs> they was just doing their thing. They was going about their business, seeing the humans, and then just continue to go on about their business. But yeah, kudos to that mom though. When I'm gonna talk about instinct. Yes, yeah, some instincts right there. Mm -hmm. I get my hats off for that one. But yeah, we're gonna catch y'all on the next video. Chef in the building.